hello. Can I offer you the crocodile? It is a good deal, the crocodile. Now's my controller gonna work. There we go. Okay. Welcome back to Croc Part 2. Not to be confused with uh, Croc 2, which will happen eventually. I got through most of this game on the previous stream. There's my memory card. And I think I'll be able to finish it on this one. There are four worlds, and I got through two and a half. So I have one and a half worlds, as far as I'm aware, to finish it. But these are going to be the final one and a half worlds, so I anticipated they might take me a little longer. If they don't, maybe this will be a very short stream. I assume if you're watching this, you probably watched the first Croc stream. But uh, this was a PS1 platformer that was made before Mario 64 was released and was pitched as a Yoshi game, is how the story goes. And it didn't have quite as strong a start as Mario 64. It has what is called tank controls. I don't know if there's a specific universal definition for tank controls. I guess it's just left and right rotate is kind of how people tend to use the term. I usually used it more along the lines of, uh, like, you control two treads. And I'm trying to think of... There weren't very many games that had that. I know it's been in a couple of them, like, uh, you would have to tilt both analog sticks forward to move forward, or in opposite directions to rotate. I'm sure we've played a game like that. Maybe there's like a section of Sly that did that. No, it was... Did Crash do that? No, Crash Bash didn't do that either. That's right, this operates on uh, sonic damage. Where you lose your gems, and if you get hit with no gems, then you die. And I didn't grow up with this game. I grew up with Croc 2, which is at least a little bit better, in my opinion. But I don't, I don't dislike this. I said last time that uh, this is a game that I actually think does a lot of things right. Namely with like the aesthetic, character design, things like that. Just not the controls, which are unfortunately the thing that matters the most. solved it. I feel smart now. I wonder how many people have played this on uh, on YouTube. I'm sure it's not an ex it's, it's not a super popular game, but Okay, okay. How do I avoid this guy? The salsa. Maybe he goes. Maybe he's going in a pattern. I also saw a game in the. I saw a game in the Twitch lineup of of games it suggested when I was doing this called. Uh, it was called Croc's World. 
I wonder what that is. It can't, it's not the same croc, is it? Because it was above this, meaning more people have streamed it. Let me Google this. Crocs World. Oh, it's a mobile game. Sorry, no, it's on the Switch as well. A jump and run. A platformer? It it looks like uh it looks like a mobile game. It looks like uh like a, a Mario ripoff cash in. That's not this croc, is it? It just looks like a, a little generic green dude. Which this croc kind of is too, but at least this this one's got like a backpack. Maybe Goji can show up. Maybe he'll know something about that. Uh oh. Uh. I have no camera with which to rearrange. Okay, I hold forward and rotate. That's right. Okay. Boy, I would enjoy having camera controls, but in the absence of them, I guess the tank controls are helpful. That doesn't count as a gem. I need, like, life gems. There we go. Ow! Oh, this one throws stuff! Okay, I, I am feeling the lack of a camera on this particular level. It wasn't really super problematic previously. This level's kind of tight. Why did I drop? Who made Crocs World? Sprinkle Soft. I don't think it's this Croc. I don't think it has anything to do with him. Wow, that's sad that that's higher than the these Croc games and the number of uh, Twitch people, Twitch streamers playing them. It. There was like uh, Google results for Crocs World 2 and 3. But uh, Twitch only had the first one listed. Okay, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna face the right way before I ride the balloon. Hey, that worked. stream, he uh, did grow up with this croc, not croc 2. Well, I was in exactly the wrong spot. I think he's on a pattern. I think he always stomps in the same places. I was told I did not, in fact, have to save every Gabo for the ending. Which, thank God, because I am not planning on doing that. I was simil similarly... Oh, but I got I got the gem on my way down. If, that, if this was Sonic, I would have survived that.
Oh, uh, what was I saying? I was similarly happy in Rayman Redemption that I did not have to get every single cage in order to confront Mr. Dark. Because I would not have been down for that. As has become the norm for Sundays. I think Jack has that. Why did I do? Why did it drop? It's just a weird quirk of that balloon, I guess. That seems like a bug. Jack has the day off tomorrow, so I anticipate that we will probably stream. And we talked about uh, whenever we do another Book of Mario stream. We might pair it with uh, our Smash Brothers. Now that Jack has Smash again. Oh, I don't like these endgame levels. These are getting uh, obnoxiously difficult. I just have to enter the airspace over a moving platform. And I will immediately move with the platform. Does that reset the entire level? Yes, it does. Alright, you know what? Straight for the end. I'm just gonna book it. Forget the collectibles. I don't need them. It's interesting how as soon as, uh... As soon as platformers went 3D... They kinda went for the collectibles route. Because Mario 64 was, uh... A very free-roaming, non-level-based format. I mean, there were levels, there were the individual painting worlds, but... You could do whatever... There were multiple goal goals in each of the world, and you could do them in more or less any order you wanted to. As opposed to... Their, their first thought wasn't to do something like 3D World, where it's just like the 2D games, but in 3D in terms of structure. I guess it's because they wanted to fully utilize the new technology of uh, 3D. Like, they probably figured, what's the point of going 3D if we're not going to, uh, if we're not going to let the player explore? without taking any damage. It's manageable. You get you get used to the controls in Croc. They're never great, but you get used to them. Oh no, this is timed. Where do I have to go? I even need anything in this room? There's a key there. Maybe I can just continue. But 
There's goop. Hello. It's a spitfish. Enemies in Croc are kind of uh, underwhelming in terms of uh, visual design. But at least it's better than Bubsy. That's got to be worth something, right? Crash was such an accomplishment on the PS1. Because that was a 32-bit system. That was... Uh, not as powerful as the Nintendo 64. In some significant ways, at least. It had a lot more uh, storage space, being disc-based. Crash managed to do what uh, it does. Oh, I need both keys? Alright. Crash managed to do what it, what it does with a lot of, like, uh, tricks and workarounds, mainly involving uh, what loads on screen at a time. Which was only possible because it was a level-based game with a uh, fixed camera position. And the character designs were so expressive and unique. They, did cra they got a lot right with Crash. Like, pretty much immediately. It's, it's very impressive. That's fine. I still got the key. And Spyro, obviously, but Spyro came later. His first game was after Crash had already had two, so... By that point, there were a lot of, uh, There were a lot of 3D platformers to build off of. I wonder how much influence this had, if any. Like, if there were any game devs who saw this and were really impressed in some way. And this really affected how they did, how they made their game. <sighs> okay, we're good. We're fine. Probably more, it probably had more of a visual impact than a gameplay impact. I would imagine. Why I thought the gobble was an enemy. I almost killed the gobble. Okay. We made it. a high clench stream. What happens if I'm on the gates over one of these? Because that, I guess that doesn't count as airspace. I don't suddenly start moving with the platform. Uh, that's the end of level gong. I want that. I don't need nothing else. I'm just going for the gong. Just for curiosity's sake, I'm gonna see what's down that path. I'm gonna guess it's the final, it's the gem door. Yep. No, thank you. All this just to, to, to call a bird to take me to the next level. Because I guess the one who brought me to this one got tired.
what was that, 20 minutes for one level of the nine that we have to do? L was it called Leap of Faith? Oh, that's not a promising level title. Also, don't mind me, I'm gonna open up my Twitch dashboard because I'm not sure that uh, it looks like OBS might be acting up. <laughs> I don't like those platforms. I think OBS might not be uh, not showing. Chat! I hate these platforms. The ones that look like little islands. I can never tell where they're at. That's okay. The best place to fail is at the very start of a level. Because I can just start over again, and that's fine. This is fine. Uh, Windows 10 had an update. And this computer, the tower, worked fine. However, my laptop has been just soiling itself all day. It keeps getting stuck at like 87% consistently every time I left it on overnight. And it's just been running like molasses while it continuously attempts to and fails the Windows update. Oh, that, that's free. I'll take it. Wait, can I have just gone straight over here? Was that all just for a gobbo? interesting. An interesting mechanic. Imagine going down a cylindrical object as a means of transport to find yourself in another part of the level. Never seen that before. Oh no, they have artillery. Artillery pillars. just like it's it's a gobbo gauntlet well it's definitely easier than the previous level so far I'm down for that go for those jewels, but I don't think I need them. I'm good. I'm just gonna go down this knot pipe. That seems like the best thing to do. Alright, next section of the gauntlet. These just like floating void areas. Make me think of the the sections in Mario Sunshine and Wario World. Climb up. Climb up, Croc. You can do it. You got upper body strength. I guess. Oh, no. Wait, I have to get the Gobbo? I can't abandon him? There's no low karma route. That's that's what Croc 3 needs, is a karma system. Depending on whether you choose to aid Gobbos or not. I, I gotta uncork the pipe. We got a job, Luigi!
that was a little more uh, Doctor Girlfriend than Mario, but whatever. They're basically the same voice, as far as I can perform them. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, that was going down the pipe. That counts. Uh, we got rafts, and we got a mummy. And I'm still meandering over to my dashboard on Twitch. Okay, we're good. I wonder if I can hurt the mummy, or if I just got to avoid him. Because the way the platform's laid out, it seems like I just have to avoid him. How many, how many lives do I have? I'm on one life, so I definitely don't want to take any risks. I'm doing what I'm supposed to. As long as I don't get in the Gibdo's line of sight, he can't paralyze me. I'm doing a yet another Zelda randomized run. I got, I got a problem. I just I finish one and then I look for other games to play and I just don't feel like playing anything else. So I'm doing a uh, hundred Triforce Shard hunt in Ocarina of Time. Just to make sure I got plenty to do. I needed that. This level was more manageable than the previous one. E even though it was over an abyss of instant deaths. I guess it's just, it's not as claustrophobic because I don't have to worry about the... I can't get the, the camera facing the wrong way. It's always the way I need it to face. And I like that in Croc. Uh-oh, hello. Uh, it's one of, like, the imps from Spyro. I gotta get the free the freeze breath. I wonder how Croc could be expanded. If they chose to, like, do a third Croc game for whatever reason. The much-requested Croc remaster. I guess that's a better question to ask after playing uh, Croc 2. After they expand a little more upon this game. What did Croc 2 add? It added items? There was like a usable item inventory. Oh, uh, what is this? Ah! Ah! Ghost! Why is there goss? Oh. Oh, okay. He doesn't hurt me. He just takes my gems. Do I need this many gems? Is there, like, an extra lives threshold? It's a greedy ghost. Well, I haven't been getting all the colored gems, but this is at least, like, uh...
you do get like extra little bonus levels from getting them, and that's nice. It's always nice when collectibles lead to actually like getting access to more gameplay and more levels. Like that that's a good reward. Life life's a beach. You can't say that, this is a kid's game. Croc 2 added like uh, one move. It added a it added a stomp jump. It added more like a uh, you know, more open world kind of. It added hub worlds. NPC dialogue. Just kind of little quality of life game improvements. Not like a, any huge gameplay changes. Which I guess. Crash 2 was kind of that, too. And some more, like, uh, vehicle levels, things like that. Or gimmick levels, whatever you want to call them. I missed a key in that room. That's okay. Little Gobbo can... He he's happy there. Look at him, he's jumping for joy. He doesn't need rescued. So, hello, Lauren. This is my uh, first time playing Croc 1. I grew up with Croc 2. And it's been interesting to see the uh, the differences. I'm not, I'm not doing 100%, though. I'm cool just getting to the ending. Oh boy, this camera. Is there anything back here? There's a button back here. And the climb of- Hello! Jerk. <clears throat> Can I- No, I can't. I just lost all that stuff. Oh well, that's fine. I don't think I've ever gotten an extra life in this game. So if there is a threshold where you get like a hundred gems for life, I have yet to reach it. Now which key is this? Is this a, this is a... maybe this is the cage key. Yeah. Okay, so I need I need the gold key for the door. I missed a key in this room? Where? Am I blind? I am blind. So I assume you've played this game. Have you played Croc 2? I only recently learned that, uh, A, 2 sold much more poorly than this one did. And that, uh, apparently that the series as a whole sold, like, uh, less than one-third what the Gex game sold. And I'd always thought them as being, like, comparable, like, niche PS1 kind of titles. But what? Huh? Can I go up? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go on top. I'll take the high road. After I get one gem. I would like one gem first. There we go. Ah. Okay, it is time limited. Good to know. Alright, 
cage key. This music reminds me a lot of the uh, Emperor's New Groove game. Just because it is so, uh, like, Latin salsa kind of stuff. These platforms, we're good, we're fine. Give me gems, yes. Life insurance. Out of the Mario pipe, get some more gems. I guess if they were going to have these, uh, candy-like gummy things in the game anyway, they might as well have been lifesavers. Come on, get up. I hope I'm supposed to go back. back here? Oh, boy. He's got little footprints. That's a nice detail. Yes, this was the door. Ah! This one flies! the key. However, that gobble was over a bottomless pit. Alright. see the ending. But I'm already up here, so I might as well button. I guess. What did that do? Oh, no, I'm not going back there. Forget that.
Well, there's another 20 minutes for two levels. That's not bad. Alright, Cactus Jack. Hey, yo, Cactus Jack! The plot of this game is like a Sailor Moon villain. Or just any magical girl villain. It's just like a dude corrupting existing objects and creatures and turning them into evil monsters. That's okay. Best place to fail is the start. Skippable cutscenes, that's good. It's a sign of conscientious game designers. You know it didn't have ki skippable cutscenes. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, that was a waste of that life. I was in a uh, discussion with some people about uh, Kingdom Hearts just before the stream started. Which, if you've watched our streams of it, you probably know I'm not a big fan of the series. We got a couple streams into Kingdom Hearts 2. Most of which was Jack yelling at me for being incompetent. And with the the PC versions of uh, the pretty much the entire series announced, we might just start over our playthrough of two with uh, Jack being the one to play. Okay, so he's a cactus. So logically, he fires needles. Ow! Ah, what's going on? I was gonna say, logically, I can't just, like, tail him. Except I can, if he's dizzy. Is that- that's just every boss in Croc. You avoid their attacks for a brief period. They have an obvious, like, vulnerable period, and then you just whap them. At least there are! At least there are gems. I don't think there were gems in the previous boss arena. This guy can move! Look at that speed! Where do I recognize that sound from? That one. I think it's a sample that uh, Rayman used as well. I don't remember where specifically in the game it appeared. But I, I definitely think it was in Rayman 1. Uh oh. Sidestep. Uh oh. Oh, I did it. Ver again, no fanfare for the hits. Alright, here we go. Final world. The Tower of Power. Every bad guy's gotta have a tower. Gonna be Cortex, gonna be K. Rule. You gotta end your game with a, with an evil tower. Uh oh. Uh oh. I get Gex vibes from this. Which I guess just speaks to how, like, uh, dark and dreary the settings in Gex were. The 3D one specifically, which I think was Enter the Gecko?
Or Spyro. It's like the fantasy setting. Well, the pit, the pizzicato is like fantasy, and then you got this James Bond guitar going on as well. Oh, that's a that's a very Crash Bandicoot crate. I see platforms down there, but I don't want to jump down there because that looks optional. Super Rayman eyes. What's over here? Oh, th those glass windows look very Rayman. Oh, wait, wait, no, that did something to these. I guess? I'm blocking them. Maybe I can push them? Maybe that's a reset button. Yeah, I can push them. Okay, I got, I got it. Respawn them, or does that reset all of them? Okay, now that resets all of them. Can they crush me? It will not allow me to crush myself. Uh, hmm. What, what, what are these block physics? I've never seen such block physics. Grab on, Croc. No? Maybe push this a little more. I can push this a little more. There we go. Come on. Croc. Get up there. I don't think this is the correct way to do this. I have an idea, but if this is the way they want me to do it, then boy is this tedious. I'm not thinking this through quite enough. third one, and then I can die. It 
just like a bizarre 3D platformer Jenga. Please. Croc, please. Can I push this a little more? I cannot. That is pushed as far as it can be pushed. more room to the side. Physics. I'd like to think I've been pretty nice to this game so far. Why you gotta do this to me, Croc? What are you doing? Why are you giving me block Jenga? Side where I believe I could push it if the camera would cooperate. Oh, okay. Ah! And they can, in fact, kill me. I thought they couldn't. All that time. Is it possible I'm being dumb? Am I overthinking this somehow? in that direction. Again, glorious physics. I can do that jump. That's a that's a possible angle for a jump. Just gotta back that ass up. Come on. You can do a croc. Did it. Oh no! Get up there. Just get up! You crocodile! Bah! We having fun yet? Power of power, indeed. Yes 
All right, well, for the sake of possibly not having to go up there, let us, in fact, see what is down here. It's a gabo, and two extra lives, and a gem, and a gem. Well, the extra lives are nice, but how much will they help me? Remember how I described Rayman as not having a difficulty curve, but a difficulty cliff? I think we've reached that. slightly, and then it just destroys and resets everything. Yeah. It's an instant death, too. It doesn't matter if you have gems or not. Yes! Oh, I made it. Oh, I hate I hated that. I get gems. I get non-breaking paths, platforms to cross. And I get a guy who's gonna shoot me. Okay, he doesn't shoot. He's, he's just a little little Goomba dude. Okay, and we're back outside. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like that. Come on. Come on, Croc. Come on. I can't tail whip while I'm on the thing. Maybe this will be, like, the first level we did on stream. Maybe it's just this one is a pain, and the other levels will be much more manageable. I have no attack that I can use on this guy. I just have to... 
I guess, book it at exactly the right... Yeah, just barely. <sighs> Give me those gems. Gem singular? doesn't even count as, as a gem that I can use for life. I mean, a checkpoint would be great. I guess I guess there are checkpoints. Every area is a checkpoint, so never mind. I guess Crash used a lot of a lot of, uh, a lot of pizzicato. What, what's beneath me? I'm not gonna die for breaking this, am I? A gem ca a, 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 a cog came out. Interesting. <laughs> Move very carefully. I just, I have to drop a bunch of cogs, I guess. I'd be very upset if one of these cogs glitches and I fall through or something. Okay, give me, give me life gems. No! There's no enemies so far, but... start spinning, though. None of them were spinning before. Why would they all suddenly start spinning at once? That doesn't make sense. I, I don't like that. I don't like the way that platform relies on me lining up a spinning platform with itself moving. Please end. Please be the end of the level. Run, Croc. It looked so slow, I didn't think it would be that tight. Some, give me some life gems. What? How dare you? They caught me with the backswing. This is the worst level so far. It is so unforgiving. Mainly because of that block part. That block part was awful. It was so awful I had to slightly accent it when I said awful. Ending. End. Please end. Oh, now I gotta go into the tower from the top. Maybe World 4 isn't four levels. Maybe it's just one hard level. Maybe I just do this and the boss is 4-2. Is ah, hello! Uh, uh... 
I don't think I want to mess with him. Uh, did that, what did that do? I, I hit a button. Hello? A wizard? Druid? Spinny, spinny druid. What? Oh, I can't? Okay, I guess he's just an obstacle to avoid. Very banjo vibes from these enemies. What? Stop spinning already. Okay, tire out, please. I guess he doesn't. Oh, yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. How many do I have? Oh. No. I'm sorry, the extra stuff is tempting, but I don't remember if I die in the bonus area. If that counts as death, and I, I would have to start the level over. I'm not gonna risk it. I wanted to go back to the level select. I just wanted to go back because I, had I hadn't saved the game in a little while. Did I just lose all of my progress? You. You. Why, why would you have start select go to the title screen instead of the level select? I might have had today is gone now. Whee! Gee, you know what I haven't done in a while? Save. I'd better go do that. That would be the smart thing to do.
that, that was an hour of gameplay loss. I don't, I don't know how fast I can get that all back. And it was the entire tower level specifically. Run it. I guess is my current plan. I consider just ending it there. Like, well, Croc was fun. I'm never coming back to this again after that, but. Boy, do I hate not finishing things. This is, I recently watched uh, Joel's Hardcore Friday where he played the entirety of Super Mario Land 2. And he got a game over halfway and lost all of his progress. I think. I th maybe it wasn't all of his progress. I think he was able to go back and just do the bosses again. Which is not as bad ha as having to do, like, everything, everything. But man, I just, I just lost the entire stream. best part is that uh, I don't think anyone is watching right now. And I'm going to get that one guy who comes in like two years later. And says, oh, well, you actually, you know, you could have gotten back to where you were if you just uh, did press this button combination or something. atrocious game design. There's no way to save your game inside a level. And there's no way to get back to the level select where you can save your game from inside a level. The only thing you can do while in a level is to exit all the way to the title screen. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so caught up on this. But you can understand why I am. Just pile drive into the lava. It's a good idea, Croc.
That's the second really, really bad thing ruining an otherwise nice game. You got the controls and you got the lack of, a, of, of an exit level f function. I think I need both keys. I don't think the silver one is optional! This looks like a spiral area. This little desert. Why would you put a timed platform at the end of a string of disappearing platforms so you don't have time to wait for the correct timing for the timed platform? I'm just going to be mad at everything this game does now. this uh, this series of platforms so many times. Technically, I don't have work tomorrow. Isn't that nice? We can spend as long playing Croc as we want to. As long as it takes! That's just gonna be- that's just gonna be sad if I ever do highlights of this, too. I'm gonna have that whole string of an hour and ten minutes that I ultimately don't know doesn't count. I guess I could just include that footage and not include any of this. Then it's almost like the reset never happened.
You, no, no, get out of there. Uh, croc. Let's find us a gem, we need a gem. Uh, there aren't any gems. There's an enemy immediately. And a lava pit. Yes, sir. My favorite lava pit. I'm gonna be seeing it lots. Give me gems. I need gems, I need rings. Eggman is after me. Be playing as a young vector. It's like young cock, young conquer, but with vector the crocodile. A delayed shot. I'd like to say after this, Croc 2 is going to be a dream, but... One of the things Croc 2 was criticized for was its difficulty. It is entirely possible. It'll be even harder than this. Every level in Croc 2 could be the tower. Okay, it probably won't be that bad. But it could be a difficult stream. Though at least, I'm pretty sure it has a proper level exit. Actually, I think, you know, I'm thinking about it, I think I remember some minecart sections in Croc 2. Every platformer needed to have a minecart section for a little while. Why did I get on that? That was too early to get on that. Okay, for real this time. I don't I don't know why I got off onto the center platform at all. I didn't need to. save every time because apparently I can't do it after I enter a level and there's no auto save okay uh did it save though should be more than 40 percent now Oh, it canceled. And the password only allows level access only. So if you put in the password, it doesn't even keep track of what uh, gabos or what your completion status is. I can't make that jump, can I? Third time's the charm. No, I have to do the Gabo cage. Is that why it's called Leap of Faith? Because they expect you to die like that?
wonder if this inspired Rare at all, stylistically. I think this was before Banjo-Kazooie. I'd have to check, actually. It'd have to be before, like, Banjo even started development, I suppose. Granted, Rare had already started getting, uh, pretty cartoony by the time they did just Donkey Kong Country 3, even. Despite the, the tank controls, Croc does have a decent aerial control, which is good. Some platformers don't have good aerial, aerial control. Like I can, once I'm in the air, I can drift left and right. He can't grab that ledge. Exit. Complete. Oh, it's the mummy part. Exit. No, oh, there's still more. And I have zero lives remaining. And there's lava. Do I have any gems? I have one sing singular gem. I'm sorry you had to hear that. That was right at the end, too, I think. Probably. I have no idea. Why is there a platform down there? What's that doing down there?
I apologize if my commentary this time around is a little more lacking than the previous one. You see, I've already played these levels. I'm not sure if you were in fact aware of that. vaccination on Wednesday, the first dose. I need to get two of them. And I've been kind of tired since I got it. Which I guess is normal. So, you know, the immune system fighting off the thing. This map is much less threatening than it looks. It's just kind of big, and it has lots of moving parts. Well, lots. Of, it has two moving parts. And, and the mummy. I guess he's a moving part. that. Get some of these, I guess. You have to be so perf just perfect at this game to actually keep enough gems to get to 100, or whatever the threshold might be if there is an extra life threshold. Like, there's instant death pits anywhere. And any any single hit, you lose all your money from. And it's not like the things are as plentiful as they are in Sonic. You don't have giant clusters of these gems everywhere to help you get to that mythical 100 rings. All right, I'm where I want to be. I'm facing where I want to be. And these are between platforms, not on platforms, so I can rest if I need to. Oh yes, get me out of here, leave. Oh, no, level name. Ah. That's how I reacted the first time, right? It's just as funny. starting crates, that's nice. Oh, and you lose your gems between levels, too. So you gotta get... If there is, like, an extra life for 100, you gotta get 100 within a single level. I think this just had the key and the door to the right. Yeah, it's the easy one. 
Give me that. I'm just gonna take this and leave. Thanks. Boy, I'm sorry, but Croc's got no fucks left to give. And here we go, it's the dark section. Uh, no, I gotta go to the other side first. Cause I gotta get the key, the key's on this side. So slip sliding. There's now going to be a three, three and a half hour stream because of that setback. That went without saying more or less. Alright, what's in here? This is the key area. I think. I think I spy a key on the on the horizon. Nice feature, being able to walk on top of those or go under them. You'd think that would be a no-brainer, but I don't really see any games besides Croc give you that option. Like in Crash, even if you can get on top of the grates, you just pass through and go to hanging under them. No! Croc! Stay alive. Okay. We got one gem. We're gonna go back. We're gonna get our little light. This little light of mine is gonna keep me from dying. No. Okay, this is fine. Got my key, got my gem, I got my light. We're good. Back in the cave. This optional Gabo, who I will not be rescuing this time. This is the dark route where Croc does not have the time nor energy to save anyone. upon Superman neglects the townspeople who need saving on his way to deal with Lex Luthor. He's just got time for Lex. He, 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 anything else is that Flash can deal with them. He can go save people. I think the gong is on this map. Yes, it is. Mm, give me that. I wonder how much more complete this file this file would have been had I saved the first run. We're almost caught up again. Do cactus. 
this jack again. He's not hard. <clears throat> this might be one of the easiest bosses, just because they are so generous as to give you gems in the arena. I wish they didn't have levels first. I mean, they're not much of levels, but... I prefer the crash method, where the bosses are just the bosses. I guess that's the norm in most platformers, for there to be a level first, though. Like, Mario did that would find Bowser, one of the Koopalings, after the end of their castle or airship or whatever. Sonic had uh, Eggman at the end of an Act 3 or an Act 2. I guess, well, Spyro 1 did that, but Spyro 2 had dedicated arenas for the bosses. Which I think was an improvement. As well as the bosses themselves were much more uh, fleshed out in Spyro 2 and 3. He just kind of takes it. That dead look in, your, in his eyes is what tells you he's done. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. It's just it's just an extra hour of me bitching at the game for betraying me, which it did. It's the game's fault that this happened. It's a stupid game design problem. Get a couple extra lives at the start of this level, which I will because, boy, I am probably going to need them. This is a worthwhile time investment. gimmick could be if he were to get one in a croc 3 I was talking about that earlier I didn't really come to a conclusion because he doesn't really have one in either this or croc 2 Ooh, man well, I didn't die Unless you count Lifesavers Gummy Sabers as his gimmick. There's just nothing about him about the gameplay that's really uniquely croc, other than the tank controls. And I don't know if you'd want to make that his dedicated gameplay gimmick. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Maybe maybe there's parts of Croc 2 that I'm not recalling fully. Here we 
go. Is that enough? Okay. But I know exactly how to do it. It's not so bad the second time. Okay, camera, please get behind me. Thank you. Just put a Goomba in front of the door. It'll be fine. He's a good guard. No. You do not deserve music for this section of the level. Wow, so this is what it's like from Croc's perspective. He's just platforming in the dead quiet of night. And the music's back. That was bizarre. This is- this might be the meanest part of the level. This enemy you have to really perfectly time. It's not perfect, but it's very- it's very tight. I still have three. Alright. We're not doing too, too bad. And the cog section. Well, you, you miss those stairs very easily if you weren't looking. Ferris wheel. That's the word for the thing I'm trying to describe. Spinning to the moving, to the dying. Oh, this is this part. Gems back, that's good. I didn't need to save you, but good for you. Ah. It's like this music can't decide whether it wants to be like major key kind of 
adventurous, or if it wants to be spooky minor key castle music. It just kind of goes back and forth between segments. Alright, the inside of the castle part. The gall of them having another part of the level after all that. I guess if you want to collect everything and free all the gobos, you have to go back and press the different buttons to open different cell doors. I guess they just he just doesn't stop spinning. He just loves to spin. His knockoff Grim Reaper Crash Bandicoot. Yes, please. Get me out of here. So that took me an hour and ten minutes the first time. And it took me 45 minutes this time. That, that's a marked improvement. How about we go back to that level and try it again to see if we can improve our time. Let, let's go back to 3-4. That sound like a good idea to anybody? to 45 minutes. Goomba. Just don't mind me. I just call the most basic, most helpless enemy in any platforming game a Goomba. He's just a little idiot who walks around and can't really do anything except just walk around poke you and bump into you. Speaking of Goombas, uh, Wickersham is uh, currently playing the first Paper Mario, which is a favorite of mine in terms of video games. And I wish there was a good Paper Mario randomizer. Sadly, there's really not. There's, there's a couple kind of working ones for a thousand year door which we're doing the item randomizer right now we're in the middle of but uh no one's really made a full paper mario 64 one there were like two people who started them as like just projects for fun and they just, they didn't continue them to a point where they were really continued to be playable. Oh, these platforms spin, too. That's, that's mean. Oh, he's not such a bad guy. Look, he's got buddies. Anyone with friends can't be that bad a guy. He's even got a picture of his mom. This is, this is super rare. As if it's not enough for the platforms to disappear, there's also things swinging around them to make sure you can't stay on them. Just in case you had any plans of staying on a platform that was breaking under you. was a bad jump. Even if I'd landed on it, I would've just died because it would've broken. And I 
assume I can't I can't land on the electricity emitter thing. Not that I was particularly going to try. Is there an exit soon? Boy, that'd be lovely. I'm just gonna do my do my little dance. Shimmy around that gem. I don't want to get that gem specifically. That gem is stupid. Why did I... Okay. No, I'm safe here. I'm just in a little electric wrestling ring. More? Uh, there's a Magikoopa firing at me. Hi. Oh, there's two dudes. That's fine, that's not hard. I, I like these levels. It's just a, a little gauntlet of challenges where each area is a checkpoint. These little challenge areas were my favorite parts of, uh, like, Mario Sunshine and Wario World, too. <laughs> Ow! You turd... Thank goodness these aren't breaking platforms. I say, and then immediately... That's okay, I just need to continue across these. I don't need to stop and reposition, which is good in Croc. Because attempting to reposition Croc is usually what gets you killed. Dungeon of Defright. Like, like, Delight? Wait, wait. Okay, so that's a pun on Dungeon of Delight, but what's a Dungeon of Delight? Like a sex dungeon? Dungeons are usually frightful. And not at all delightful. I mean, at least video game dungeons. Because it depends on the game you're playing. Alright, got a key door, got Crash Bandicoot, the Grim Reaper. Maybe this is, maybe one of these guys is uh, Greg, when he was alive. It's kind of got the, the same head shape. You would have to be a bloody crocodile, wouldn't you? Hello, Metal Fist. What, what is going on in, in croc lore? Is Baron Von Dante, or whatever his name is, is he doing, like, Frankenstein experiments to create cyborg gremlins? What, a minigame that is guarded? I've never seen that before. You don't usually have enemies firing at you in a minigame room. Okay. Oh. Uh, nope. Boy, there's gonna be so many gobos who just stay in this dungeon forever. Really? They just, they just stuck all of the minigames in Baron Guy's castle. Is it, is he just a gamer? Should we have Croc handling this or Yugi Moto? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Hello. Uh, 
Oh, it's this again. Is this cheese? I mean, I can't get all of them this way, but I can get a lot of them. I can, I can be on two buttons at once. An extra life. Oh, I'll take it. What what a bizarre level to be so far to the end of the towards the end of the game. Is that the cry of of a dying gabo? They what have they been doing to him? T pose. Why am I doing this to this guy? Does he like it? Hello, Anvar. Well, I guess the doors are locked, so, uh... I, I guess... Proceed with the inflation in the Dungeon of Delight. This game is weird. Oh, I can push him. Oh, I get it. I gotta pop him near a door. I guess. Yeah, okay. Yes, please. I'll take it. Get me out of here. I don't like this dungeon. This dungeon's weird. Bosley's Freaky Donut. Okay, so, presumably, we have this and then the final, final boss. I'm, I'm gonna be upset if it turns out there's like a fifth world or something. Because I was told there were four. Alright, who is Fosley? Sounds like a sitcom character. That is Fosley? This is your best dude? <laughs> Terrifying. Well, the Belmonts have been here. It's like the... It's like the... the I'm, I'm gonna talk about this, the My Little Pony movie. Where the villain was just a complete joke. He just had a very bumbling personality. And it was a very goofy character. And I kept waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, okay, this isn't the real villain. There's, a, a, there's gonna be a, a, like a big switch. They're gonna reveal the real villain and it's gonna be a twist. And no, just the bumbling idiot Lumberg dude was supposed to be the character that you were concerned about. Like, you can't do that. That's like if Pilaf was the villain, the threat to the Earth. in a Dragon Ball Z arc, after you'd already had, like, serious villains with serious motives. You can't take Peel off seriously. This castle music is super Crash Bandicoot. Hello? Ah, uh, hello. Ow! 
What's going on? What am I doing? So he's throwing smaller dudes at me. Okay. I see. I gotta get them to follow me in the direction of the thing. Come on. This game tried with its bosses. An, an attempt was made. Nope. Oh, trying to control Croc on these things, though. On this this ring platform. They're they're attempting a fixed camera, where it's staying on the on the focus of the, of the the boss. And fixed camera makes Croc very difficult. Okay, that was the boss. That was Fosley. That was his ace. Because while Croc was moving left or right, I was pressing up. Because pressing up always moves Croc forward, whatever direction he's facing. Oh, that's right, there's six, six levels per world. So I got, I got at least three more levels yet. I like how the, the, the save slot has an exclamation point, like it, it wants you to be excited about it. Uh, yes. Croc, somewhat infamously, has tank controls. This is one of the very first 3D platformer, platformers. It was made before Mario 64 existed. And it was actually pitched as a Yoshi game while Nintendo and Sony were still in talks for the, you know, the Nintendo PlayStation. Oh, I can't- I can't kill that guy? So in its defense, it didn't really have anything to work off of in terms of previous 3D platformers. And it does everything else, almost everything else, pretty nicely. Like, the way the character controls is the one major thing the game screws up. Unfortunately, it's just the most important thing in a platformer. Is this ice? No, it's not ice. It's like marble. I'm glad it's not ice. Also, Croc has decent... Despite the tank controls, he can move around in the air well enough. So, you, you kind of... You can get used to it. It's not great, but it doesn't totally kill the game. I can't... He's just standing still. Why can't I kill the guy? Okay, what's over here? A locked door. And over here is nothing. Guess I'm going this way. Uh, all right. 
right, now I can't look below me is a, is a problem. I think I can make that jump. <sighs> Sorry, Gabo. Enjoy your new home. It's not worth attempting to save you, because I'm not 100%ing this. information turns out to be inaccurate, and I do need to save every single Gabo in order to fight the final boss. God, I hope that's not the case. I guess in that case, I would, uh, I would get them all off stream, then I'd, I'd come back and do the final boss. This is prime cartoon music. <gasps> Man, I can't even rotate safely. Anyway. Can definitely see Elmer Fudd sneaking down a castle hallway to this. Jack would have for this game. I guess we'll find out if we when we do Croc 2, because we talked about Croc 1 I'm doing by myself, but Croc 2 we wanted to do together. Music. I guess we're back to Croc's experience, where he's just doing all this shit in dead silence. Okay, there we go. Close, far, middle, far. Interesting pattern. I made it. Zero gems. That's fine. Oh, it keeps track of how many gems I got. I guess at all in the level, even if I lost them? It said 95 at the end there.
Swipe Swiftly's Wicked Ride. Swipe Swiftly. Maybe this is the mobile game croc. This is ominous. There's a whole lot of nothing here. Oh, hello! Uh, pirates! Why are there pirates? I'm, I'm getting ambushed. It's like the, it's like the boat in the Shadow Temple. By, they're the, the worst pirate voices, too. Yaha! It's like Dad Goku. Are they trying to say on guard? Get that. I need that. Why did I go flying upwards? Okay. That was weird. I haven't had moving platforms this big in this game before. So far, the only moving platforms have been the little standalone circular platforms. Maybe it took them this long into the game's development to figure out how to make big objects move smoothly? This was, uh, Argonauts games. And I don't know, I don't remember offhand what else they made. If they continued to make stuff after the Crocs. Well, that was neat, but not anything I particularly needed. What's down here? Gems. Just gems. Well, what's the point of this room? There's nothing here. There's gotta be an exit. Kongar. Ow. Also operates on sonic physics. Where getting hit loses gems, and if you have no gems, you die. I don't think the second... I don't think Croc 2 was like that. But I don't remember for sure what the damage system in Croc 2 was. This is a bizarre level. Uh oh! Get up! Get on up, Croc! Ugh. One gem, 15 gems, it's all the same. Ow! You! All 
All right, well, no, he respawned, so I can't, like, go back and get a gem. Or I could, but he'd just be back again anyway. So I'm not going to do that. I don't need you, I need more gems. A lot of games that use gems as collectibles. Just kind of came, it became a uh, de facto thing. Crash using them as valuable collectibles, and Spyro using them as the coins. And this also using them as the coin equivalents. I remember that being a thing with like uh, early DOS games. Like that Clyde game had collectible gems. And I think the Gianna sisters use gems. They're just kind of the default for platform uh, currency for a while. This is this is a this is a nice breather. I can just walk across these. Nice and easy. Oh, I don't I don't need that. I don't think I have. No, I don't. I only have three of the five. I just need to get to that. Yes. Panic at Platform Pete's Lair. I guess, I guess these are just the names of enemies, not necessarily bosses. What was the pirate's name? Swipe Swiftly. And Platform Pete. Sounds like the kind of enemy that's gonna have a lot of platforming. A lot of bottomless pits. He has a big hammer, this Pete fella. Oh, this is like this is like Mario. This is like Mario 3D World with the 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 timed the rhythm platforms. This is kind of ahead of its time. Pete himself being the Grimace from McDonald's and also apparently a non-threat to me. He does not attack me directly in any way. I'm gonna leave him alone. He seems nice. What's wrong, Croc-coon? Could it be you're craving my McNuggies? I'm sorry. So is this just long periods of both states? Yeah, this particular grimace is slower than the previous one.
He can't be against me. If he was against me, he would just leave them all as, as spikes forever. And Croc's adventure would end. <gasps> okay. So I have no time to jump after it starts turning. I have to be sure I'm in the air before that happens. Well, I no longer care about collectibles. Other than my life insurance gems, I'll keep some of those on hand. Uh, yeah, if you run out of lives, you have to start the level from the beginning. I think I started this level with only one life. You think that's bad? The w My two complaints with this game are, one, obviously, croc control's kind of funky, and two, start select from inside a level? That doesn't take you back to level select, that takes you to the title screen. And if you didn't save, then you just lost all of your progress. Which, spoiler, happened to me this stream. We lost the first hour and ten minutes of the stream because I exited level to try to save the game. <clears throat> oh, I don't like this part. I like the aesthetics, though. Croc does good, like, uh, graphics and music. Okay, so does this one just not change? I'm trying to see which- some of the spikes now change and some of them don't. Or they change in a particular order. It's like Dark Souls. It's just pattern recognition. This this Grimace guy. This is the Dark Souls of PS1 platforming bosses. Okay. I see. So, some of them are set to flip over when he hits it. Some of them, these last two... Oh, also flip over. Never mind, I was wrong. I had been observing them, and I thought that they just, uh, they, it changed the way they move, like horizontally or vertically. And nope, I just uh, don't seem to understand how he does these things. I think I'm, I'm gonna lose all my lives at this the, on this map. Yep. Well, this, as far as... I think this is the final level in the game, and then we have the final boss. Honestly, there were much harder previous levels. That last part was obnoxious? Definitely. But I'll get through it. 
It should be easy to get back there. The tower level was a nightmare. I'll do this three times before I do that one again. This one's probably the most forgiving with the timing. It's not quite on rhythm with the music. It'd be cool if it was, but I guess that's expecting too much on the PS1. Croc 2 has a feature called Omniplay. Where multiple people control the character, are able to control the character at the same time. Basically, two players, one controller style. Which is why Jack is interested in doing that together. So, as dumb as this is, Croc 2 is going to be a shit show with me and Jack. Yeah, you just you just go straight as soon as you get in there and you're you're more or less fine. Now will this one be as forgiving, I wonder? Oh, I can't like can't like reset. There's no door to go back. So they go from up and down. They go from vertical to horizontal. Like every other hit? And now they're gonna go horizontal, yeah. Horizontal? No? Horizontally. Alright, so just keep on track, keep moving, and it seems like you're pretty good. I say that, and then it's gonna surprise me. It's gonna be a real dirt bag. Gotta make your jumps promptly the first time. That's all you gotta do. Just follow the path. It's nice and easy. <gasps> nice and easy. Two lives. Maybe he's trying to help Croc. Maybe he's just doing his best, and he doesn't know which peg turns them back over into spikes. Maybe he's just a big, goofy, incompetent ally. I don't know, Croc seems like the kind of guy who would have friends.
I don't know why the Grimace was called the Grimace. Is he a bad guy? Did he represent frowns? Like, he, was he in opposition to the Happy Meal? There we go. I got exactly one gem on this level. That's fine. I'm good with that. I rescued zero gobos and found one gem. Baron Dante's Funky Inferno. There's two words difference between this level and the epic Greek poem. Is it Greek? No, it's not Greek, it's Italian. Or Latin, arguably, kind of. Dante's Divine Tragedy was effectively the launching point of the Italian language from what was previously a dialect of Latin. You're very scary. You're a big, scary, spiky, not Bowser dude. He's like if Bowser attempted to make a Frankenstein monster, loosely in his image. This guy is the best that Bowser would be able to do. Gotta, gotta have a castle stairway. That's mandatory for every final boss. But instead of a, like, Ganondorf-esque organ, we have funky beats playing. Very, very mod music in this game at times. Ow! I got sniped. Twice. I don't like these guys. Shut up. Oh, well, that was reasonably fast. All right, is this gonna be same as all the other bosses? Okay, he does his big, obvious, dumb stomp. And then I whap him. Yep. Go on, do your thing. Ow. I lost my gems. That's very bad. What, what did he do? I can't see him because the camera's not on him. Was that it? Oh no, second phase. No gems. Ah! Oh, he's fast! That was like a K rule charge. Ow. A nice, uh, nice organ track, at least. Very important for a boss. Okay, so he does his bull charge into the wall, and then I go for him. Yeah, the bosses in this game are, are underwhelming. There are a lot of them. There's like two per world. Spyro had one boss per world, so that was like five bosses for the first game. Three bosses for the second. I think four bosses in Spyro 3. Crash had, like, thoroughly designed bosses that were just a joke difficulty-wise. And Mario 64 just had Bowser and you only had to get him once each time. Except the last time. These early 3D platformers were just generally really lacking in their bosses. 
Like, none of them really had any standout boss fights. Oh. Crash probably got it the best. It's just that's not saying much. I guess Sonic Adventure did okay. That was Dreamcast, though. That was after a lot of the PS1 stuff had happened. Alright, do your big dumb fist. Oh, he got me! Oh, I need that. I need my gem. You piece of... Ah. It's okay, I can take a hit. As long as I got my gem. Beep. Beep. Alright, phase two. What are these symbols? Lightning, a fist of lightning, and a bull head, which may or may not involve lightning. He did, in fact, spin. I don't. I don't remember him doing the spin last time. Come on. Here, boy. Oh! Beep, beep, beep. Back that ass up! Ow. I need that! I need my gem! Oh, I got it. Did I get him? No, I didn't hit him the third time, I don't think. Is he not vulnerable? <laughs> epic. Dynamic, thrilling boss fight. There are no words. Wait, no! But I whapped him! Phase three. Oh, he flies. He flies and breathes lightning. Which begs the question why he didn't do that the previous times. Oh, he broke a nail. That's it. I just got to while he's preening. Nope, I need that. Give me that. Ah! I got it. He doesn't e it doesn't even use his fists or his hands. He breathes lightning blasts and then he has to check his nails. Look how defeated he is. You can tell by the look in his eyes. He knows he's lost. He's also frozen in time. Apparently, Croc is Dio Brando. He's dead, by the way. Canonically. Like, dead and buried in the ground. Croc 2 begins with his minions reviving him in a satanic ritual. So Croc just murdered that dude. Maybe that wasn't clear by the animation. Alright, that was two hours, 45 minutes about. So had we not lost all of that progress, it would have been about a 
pretty even two hour stream. Oh, there's a statue. I'm, I'm gonna have to watch to see if that croc statue is there in the second game. Because it'd be nice if there's a statue of me. I don't care if Croc's in Smash. Can we get the music in Smash? I want to knock some heads to this. Fox. That's right, this was Fox. I, I guess must have produced this. Quality assurance. You guys need to learn how to do a, a level exit. Alright, well that was Croc, I guess. I pretty much gave my thoughts throughout the game. Give, especially given that it had nothing to base itself off of, really. It was one of the pioneers. It did a lot of things right, it just did some major things wrong. And that, unfortunately, kind of killed the game. Namely, the controls, the level select thing. Uh, the, boss, the bosses, but again, none of the other 3D guys really got the bosses great the first time, either. What were some other early 3D games? This crash came a little bit after this. There was, there was some Sonic attempted 3D, probably the earliest, but in in a, in a very technical sense. Like there was Sonic 3D Blast on the Genesis. There was that canceled 3D Sonic game. That I don't recall the name of. Sonic R. It's a racing game. It was a while before they attempted a full, like, 3D Sonic platformer, but there were, uh... There were, like, lesser 3D attempts several times for Sonic. This, the, the secret jigsaw pieces? There, there's jiggies? It wasn't like every... So... What, like in every level? I guess I should save my completed file. I'll do a quick run through of the, like, level one. Just to look, look, look for the jiggy. I, I gotta see if there's maybe a Jinjo there, too. I, I remember the jigsaws were a thing in Croc 2. I just fig. Huh? Oh, it's got to change islands. I just figured it was a thing that uh, Croc 2 added. What what year was... Uh... Okay, I, I, I gotta look this up. Croc Legend of the Gobos. I'm really curious what year this was versus Banjo-Kazooie, because there's a lot of stark uh, similarities. Former Argonaut CEO wants to remake Croc. Release for PlayStation later on Sega Saturn. I guess the, the previous CEO of Argonaut, Jez San, tweeted interest in, in a Croc remake. This is from October 2020. Well, this is definitely a game that, if anything, needs it. That's, not, that's something that is kind of unexplored territory, is games that almost got it right the first time. Because usually it's games that were already pretty good and hold up well to get remakes. 
there's ones like Mario Sunshine where they could have improved some stuff, but they, they didn't. They just shoved it out again. Okay, Croc was late 1997. Banjo Kazooie was mid 1998. I wonder if I really wonder if there was any inspiration. All right, let's just let's run around a little bit. Level level one. It's easy now. We've gone through the whole game. Like level one's nothing. Let's do a merry stroll and see if we can find a jiggy. Again, level one, immediately lava pit. They don't mess around. I love this pizzicato. Oh, hello. Wow, level one was nothing. Maybe there's not one in every single level. Maybe they only, they're only, uh, jigsaw pieces hidden in some levels. Well, oh well. That's okay. I don't I don't need to look for jiggies. We'll we'll spend plenty of time looking for jiggies in Croc 2. Whenever Jack and I have a dry stretch and we decide to play Croc 2. Now it's on the table. My next solo stream whenever I do more will probably be Emperor's New Groove. Been looking to do that again on the PS1. Maybe do some more stra uh, Smash streams. We'll see what comes. We'll see what happens. Uh, this wasn't too bad. It was a two-stream game. I'm glad I played it. I enjoyed parts of it. Hope you did too. Thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow.